In today's tutorial, we're going to be talking about how to add freckles to anybody's face. I want to thank my good friend Chris Zupo for allowing me to use his image. We're going to start off by creating a new layer and renaming it to Freckle 1. We're going to use our eyedropper tool and select a medium color of her skin tone. We're going to go to the brushes and I have downloaded a brush from DeviantArt that kind of mimics freckles. So we're going to take that brush and change it to about 15 or 16 in size. We're then going to take this brush and paint on the model's face. Alright, so we've got our freckles painted on, so what we're going to do is set the blending mode of this layer to multiply. And I know this looks really intense right now, so what we're going to do is change the fill of the layer to tone it down. Alright, that looks pretty good. So now we're going to create a new layer and rename it to Freckles 2. And now we're going to select a different skin tone color and go with a little bit of a brighter one. And we're going to change the size of our brush and maybe make it a little bit larger. And we're going to do the same thing, go in and paint on her face. Kind of randomly paint because freckles are never perfect. Now we're going to take this layer and change the blending mode to multiply. And now we're going to change the fill light. Looks pretty good. Alright, so now we're going to make another layer and name this to Freckles 3. And we're going to increase the size of our brush. And kind of randomly paint on her shoulders. A little bit on her forehead, cheek. And once we're done, we're going to take this and set it to multiply as well and tone down the fill light. So we've got a pretty good foundation to start off with. So what we're going to do now to make this even better is incorporate an actual image of freckles. So we're going to take our freckle image we're going to drag it into Photoshop. So what I'm going to do is start off with her forehead. We're going to place the image. We're going to right click and rasterize the file. We're going to do a quick mask. Click and change the blending mode to overlay. Click on the image and we're going to go to image adjustments, hue and saturation, and tone down the saturation of this because it's too red and too pink. Alright, we're going to press OK. It's still a bit too bright. It doesn't quite um, blend in with the original exposure of her skin. So we're going to go to Image Adjustments Curves and drag this down until it starts to look 
more blended. That looks pretty good to me, so I'm going to press OK. And we're going to invert this. We're going to select a white brush and change back from the freckle brush to a basic brush. And I prefer to do this on um, hardness the whole way down with a larger brush. And we're just going to paint in on her forehead first. Alright, so that looks pretty good. And now we're going to do the same thing and we're going to keep repeating until we have covered her entire face. Alright, so now that we have most of our freckles down, what I'm going to go do is go through each layer and kind of change the fill light so it's not as harsh. I'm going to start off with the shoulder. So I don't want it as intense. You can toggle this on and off to kind of see. I'm just going to go through each of these and just make little minor adjustments. Alright, so that's looking pretty good. So what we're going to do next, since we did freckles, I kind of want to add some reddish to her hair. So we're going to make a new layer. We're going to change this layer's name to hair. And we're going to pick kind of like a reddish, burgundy-ish color. And we're just going to take a brush and just paint, paint all over her hair. All right, now that we have a hair painted in, we're going to go to Filter, Blur, Gaussian Blur. And I just want this to kind of get a soft edge. I don't want the edge to be so harsh. So I'm just going to mess with this until I get a desired look. I think that looks pretty good, so I'm going to press OK. What I'm going to do now is change the blending mode of this layer to color. And now we're going to change the fill light. And to really refine some of the areas of hair Look over here, maybe I'm going to take like an eraser and get in there and just erase some of those. So 
a soft brush. Just want to blend it in as much as you can. It doesn't have to be totally perfect. Just want to go around. Add some redness back in here. to do now is that I finish the hair is just kind of um, darken the overall image. Um, what, I wanna, what I'm going to use to do that is I'm going to make a new adjustment layer, a black and white, and I'm going to set my blending mode to soft light. And I'm just going to play with the fill light. I'm getting this more kind of like a deeper reddish and I want to make a curved layer to make it even a bit darker. Let me play around with this to give it some contrast. And we are good. So what you can do now is group all of these into one layer. I'm sorry, into one folder and toggle this on and off to kind of see what you've created. Um, I want to thank Kurzupa again one more time for letting me use this image. I hope you guys learned something and if you have any questions, um, please feel free to ask. Alright, thanks for watching.